Hey, how y'all doing today? Uh, this is a video that goes along with the Toby box from Hack the Box. And I recorded this back in October, I think, last year. Um, so it's a little bit more of a raw video. It's a very quick video. Um, but uh, just I came across this issue where I was having an issue with um, some stuff I was trying to do in Python with sending a request and catching a response back. Um, and so I thought it was an interesting timing troubleshooting issue. And so it's, I think the video is like five minutes long, six minutes long. And uh, Hopefully you find it interesting. So uh, we'll go ahead and jump in here. All right, this is OXDF. And today I'm working on Toby from Hack the Box. And this is really more of a side dive down into kind of like a beyond root kind of thing into um, some timing issues I ran into when I was trying to take, um, I managed to get RCE, I can make a shell. Um, when I was originally building it, I had the server in Python and I was sending requests uh, via burp repeater. And I wanted to just make it so I could send the request and catch the response all in the same, uh, terminal window real easy just get a shell um, and it didn't feel like it was gonna take a lot of work and so um, what I need to do is I need to listen on port uh, 20053 um, and then I need to send this post request and the post request will trigger the connection back to me um, there's a back door and you can read the post for details um, but so when I originally initially started uh, what I wanted what I thought I would do was uh, just send the request and then quickly try to stand up the listener and see if that would uh, catch it in time. And so what it, what it looked like when I was first starting was something like this. I'll go ahead and delete that and there. So there's the post request. Then I quickly come down here and set up the listener and let me go ahead and get rid of tie all of this. Um, you can cheat and look ahead here, but okay. So, and what that looks like is, so I, I send this, I set up the listener, I listen, and then I accept the request here and etc. So. Um, let's move down. Oops, I didn't mean to make that so small. So there we go. So I will set up a netcat listener. And I will call Python. So I think I believe it's still called c2.py. And then I need to give it my... So I'm nice and pretty, so I can got to give it a L host and an L port. 6 and 443. And when I run this, uh, I got a little Wireshark over here. You can see my connections to port 80 here going on. And then I do get a connection back to 2053, but I, my box is sending a reset. And that's because my box isn't listening yet. And then I get the response back from the website. So uh, I quickly said, okay, well, that's not working. Clearly I'm not, uh, I thought I might have like a, be able to run this race or something, but that's not gonna work. So uh, I need to go ahead and listen first. And what's kind of cool about this, um, when you set up a server like this, you bind to the port, you set up, you list, you call listen, but listen doesn't block. Um, and it's only when you get to um, accept, when you call the socket.accept, that you actually are waiting to receive, waiting for a connection, and that's a blocking request. Um, so this listen one, um, I'm only listening for one, but it can handle multiple, you know, if you said listen for five, listen for 50, it'll hold those connections until you're ready to accept them. And so the OS will handle that for you. So that's really nice. So I set it up here where I'm gonna go ahead and listen. Python doesn't block, it just keeps going. Um, but now if somebody does connect, uh, the OS is going to handle that for me. So I can now come down here and do this. And so the next thing I thought was, in fact, I can un, uh, undo a couple of those. The next thing I thought was, okay, cool. I will uh, just send my request here and I'll be good. And so let's push this back. Um, and I didn't have a timeout here. And the timeout is going to be important. And this is, I'll show you why. This is, what I, this is the whole point of this video. Um, so if I come down here and I run this now, um, so I'm listening, the request.post happens, uh, it's got all the data it needs to trigger, and then next comes accept. Um, the challenge that happens here, let's reset uh, reset Wireshark, just do it without saving. I get the same thing. So here, what do I have? I've got immediately the request, this first stream right here between my 42006 and port 80, so it's hitting the web server, all that's happening, and then look, okay, here comes back from 5700 to 2053, and I there's a sin, a sin ack and an ack, great. There's a response, uh, and there's even me now sitting here waiting to waiting to happen. What's happening here is I haven't accepted the request, and so re the request is it's sitting there waiting for it to be accepted. At the same time, request.post is waiting for the result of that page before it comes back, and so. I sit here and I sit here, and eventually, after a minute or two, um, this request, this post request, is going to time out. And when it does, 
my uh, code here will continue and it'll actually do the accept. And I'm going to, I guess I'll pause the video here if, if it doesn't happen pretty soon. Um, it was interesting when I was testing this, I was going, man, I must not still work. Oh, look, there it is. Okay. So it timed out and then it accepted and it came on and boom, all the rest of this stuff happened. And you can see down here, I got a shell. Um, so the way I fix that is I'm going to come in, but come back up here and I'm going to wrap this in a try. So I need to indent all of this there. Um, in fact, actually, one I, I want to show you what happens if that doesn't, if I don't do that. So what I, what I can do is I can add a thing here, timeout equals 0.5. So we have half a second for the request to happen, and then boom, it'll continue to, it'll continue on. And I don't really care about the success of this post request because it's just going to die anyway. Um, so let's restart that to continue without saving. Um, so I come down here. Uh, we can exit my shell. Spawn a new one. Let's uh, clear out Wireshark here and run it again. And boom. So this time I still get I still get the synac, you know, the connection between the connection coming in on 20, 200, what is this, 20,053. Um, and I'm accepting it and I'm holding it. But then what happens here is, oh, my Python script times out and dies and actually throws an exception. It's not, not times out, but there's a request.read timeout exception. And so what basically what it's saying is you can put this short timeout here, but if it hits that timeout, it's going to throw an exception and your script's going to crash unless you handle it. Uh, and so that's why I come in here and I basically say, I'm going to do a try loop or try block around it. I will indent that there. Now I've got this accept. So as soon as so I know it's going to happen, I'm causing it to cause throw the exception. I catch the reception pass just says, do nothing. You're good. Go. And then it accepts and goes. And so real quick, I'll just show that one. I'm still listening on Netcat. Uh, we don't really need Wireshark at this point, but you might as well see what it looks like. And now it runs. Half a second later, there comes the shell. I'm now dub 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 data. So anyway, um, this I couldn't have written this up in a blog post, so I thought it was kind of a neat thing to show in a video um, about the timing and how Python works. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.